This is incorrect. Uh, Dear Nation of Poetry, um, sadly, as usual, or sadly, anyway, sadly, sadly, I may not be finishing my piece inside uh, the last painting, which was to go to Ashley the studio at 620, which is getting harder and harder and harder and harder for me to paint. At this point, maybe improbable, impossible even. Um, but I don't know where else to take it. Uh, the reality is this. I have seen many pieces of graffiti recently destroy uh, museums even that have been there for a while. Art centers, for example. And I have watched the graffiti and abandoned, albeit to some of my distaste, rebuild buildings blatantly. But architecture is always something I studied heavily as an art historian. This is how I feel. Why is the wall not red? Painting on red is not disruptive. The problem is this. Uh, my history with 620 goes back so far that it's to the opening of 620 that I go blatantly uh, because brutally it needed money to stay open, not to close it. If 620 closes, with my peace, I will not be happy. My advice is this. Next time, when it comes to current art, ask me. Um, not that I don't trust you, but sadly, since Dave Ellis left, things have changed brutally again. Uh, but yeah, I've worked there. <laughs> I put my time in there uh, on both avenues, on more than three avenues, but one was poetry. Just... Bermouch, bermouch amounts of poetry. And the second, of course, is curation type stuff. Volunteer, even. Not impressed. But like I said, you guys can paint on 620 if you do the right thing with it. I am not okay. Now, I'm not asking you to make this okay. But you should. You should. It's one of the most beautiful spaces. And it's a space. It's like an experimental theater in St. Pete. And all of my arts education says no, no. Put things right. The red wall had been a perfect background for everything, but it always was.